Get ready for a quick quest guide for the Eagle's Peak quest, in which the main rewards for completing are access to the Eagle transport system, the ability to use box traps, 2500 hunter experience, and 2 quest points. There are no quest requirements to take this on, however in terms of skills you will need level 27 hunter. Additionally, while not required for the quest, having 25 agility unlocks a shortcut that is super helpful and will save you quite a bit of time, and also for 45 strength is handy for unlocking an eagle transport route after the quest completion. When it comes to items, you'll need 50 coins, as well as one yellow die and one swamp tar. I would also highly recommend bringing along a rope and a teasing stick in order to use and fully unlock the eagle transport system post quest. And additionally, these can be used to complete three medium achievement diary tasks too. As there's quite a bit of running involved in this quest, I'd also recommend weight reducing armor, as well as stamina and energy potions. And then in terms of teleports, you'll want two Piscatorus teleports for fast travel to the Eagle's Peak, though know that if you've unlocked fairy rings then making use of the AKQ ring code works well too. You'll also want one Barak teleport and one Ardoon teleport as well as an additional teleport for once the quest is finished as if you do all of the post quest unlocks you'll end up in the middle of nowhere. Finally, if you have 45 strength, then bring along a necklace of passage for the post quest tasks. And if you don't have 45 strength, then instead bring along an additional Piscatorus teleport or method of getting to the AKQ fairy ring. Now you can begin this quest at the Ardoon Zoo, which is located in the southern area of East Ardoon. To start the quest, talk to Charlie and then say, Ah, you sound like someone who needs a quest doing, before then skipping through some more chat and then selecting yes to officially begin the quest. Afterwards use a Piscatorus teleport or travel to the AKQ fairy ring and then run a fair way south until you reach a campsite that's a little bit north of Eagle's Peak. Once you arrive at the campsite, inspect the books on the ground to then find a bird book, before then reading the bird book to obtain a metal feather. Now if you've got 25 agility then climb up the rock shortcut that's just to the south of the tent. If you don't have 25 agility, then sadly you'll have to run a long ways east and then south before then travelling northwest up the path onto the mountain. Next, you'll want to use your metal feather with the giant rock at the peak of the mountain, which will see it unlock a cave. And afterwards, enter into this cave before running south until you trigger a mini cutscene with Niklaus whereby you'll start chatting to him. Firstly say, the Ardoon Zookeeper sent me to find you. And afterwards say, well if you gave me a ferret I could take it back for you. And then finally ask, could I help at all? Before Niklaus will ask for an eagle disguise. Now just to your north you'll see some piles of giant feathers. Continue to take giant feathers from this pile until you have at least 10 eagle feathers in your inventory. And once you have 10 feathers then teleport to Varrock before running southeast all the way into the clothing store that's located in the corner of the city. In the store you'll want to talk to as if and skip through the chat before saying, well specifically I'm after a couple of bird costumes, before then continuing through the rest of the dialogue. After this is done, talk to Asif again and after a bit of chatter say, I've got the feathers and materials you requested. And then follow this up with, okay, here are the materials, eagle me up. To then receive two costumes consisting of a beak and a cape. After you have the disguises then teleport back to Piscatorus and then run south all the way back to the cave entrance at the top of the Eagle's Peak, making use of the rocky shortcut if you have access to it in order to save you some time. Go into the cave and then run all the way east and then enter into the tunnel that's located at the end. Now you'll arrive in a maze-like area. Firstly you'll notice a bird seed holder to your south. Continually take from it until you have six odd bird seeds. Now run a tad northwest to end up near a chasm, and just to the south of this you'll see an eagle lever that you'll want to pull. Afterwards run a fair way southeast and use the odd bird seed on the bird feeder to see the metal eagle to your east glide towards it. Then use another of your bird seeds on the feeder that's just to your northwest to see a second metal eagle glide towards it. After they've both moved then run all the way into the most southeastern corner of this area whereby you'll find another lever. Pull this 
this lever. Once this is done, run northwest all the way back to the first lever that you pulled when you first started the puzzle near the chasm and then pull it. The next step is to then run a tad east before going south, and then use one of your odd bird seeds on the feeder that's just to your west to see two eagles try and glide towards it. One will hit a wall and bounce back, but the other one will successfully go through. Next, run west by going south around the bird statue that just moved and then pull the lever that it was previously blocking access to. Afterwards, you'll want to run back to the location of the first lever that you pulled when you first started the puzzle near the chasm and then focus on the bird feeder just north of it. Use some feed on this bird feeder to see the metal eagle glide across the hole in the ground towards it. Now run west by taking the path around the big chasm to the north of it and then pull the lever that's tucked away in a dead end at the northwestern area of the maze. After this has been pulled, then run all the way around the maze until you are in the southwestern corner of it and then use some odd bird seed on the feeder that's just to your north to see the metal bird glide towards it. And then finally run a little east and then put some odd bird seed in the feeder that is just southwest of where you entered the maze. Afterwards, run a little north North and then go all the ways west into the biggest room within the maze before taking the golden feather from the stone pedestal that's in the middle of it. Congrats, that's by far the hardest feather down. After you have the golden feather, then you can run east and exit out of the area the same way that you arrived. Once you're outside, then run west before then going south at the fork and then continuing west until you see another tunnel that you'll then want to enter. Firstly, start by inspecting the stone pedestal to your north and after this is done, then and run a little ways east and inspect the rocks. And note that you should be seeing some footprints appear following the inspections. Afterwards, inspect the rocks that are directly to your northeast to connect the footprints. And finally, inspect the opening a little further to your northeast to see a level 13 cabot jump out. You can kill it, or alternatively right click and choose to threaten it, before then selecting to taunt the cabot. This will see the cabot run away, dropping the silver feather on its way out which you'll want to pick up just by the opening. Now run southwest and exit back out of this area. And once you're out, then continue to run south until you're at the entrance to another tunnel in the most southwestern part of the area. Enter this tunnel and then try to take the bronze feather from the pedestal in front of you prompting it to be scooped up in a net trap. Now simply operate each of the four winches located in each corner of the room. And once the last winch has been operated, the pedestal and feather will be lowered back to the ground. Afterwards, you'll be able to take the feather from the stone pedestal in the middle of the room. Now that you have all three feathers, you'll want to go south and exit out of the area before then running east until you come across a stone door. Firstly, equip your eagle cape and your fake beak. And afterwards, use each of your three feathers on the stone door. And once they are all in place, then choose to go through it. Now run a little north and select to walk past the giant eagle. And after you're on the other side of it, talk to Niklaus and skip through the dialogue, whereby you'll hand him his very own disguise so that he can get out of the cave. Love that for him. After this is done, then again select to walk past the eagle and then go west back through the stone door, after which you'll want to run all the way back to the northwestern part of the cave before exiting the cave entrance and returning to the surface. Next, you'll want to return to the campsite, either by going down the rocks directly to your north or running southeast down the mountain before then looping back north and then west. After arriving at the campsite, talk to Niklaus and after a bit of chatter say, well, I was originally sent to find you because of a ferret, before then saying, that sounds good to me. After this, a cutscene will take place whereby Niklaus teaches you to catch a ferret with a box trap, and this will see you acquire both a box trap and also a ferret in your inventory after the cutscene ends. Then simply teleport to Ardoon and run west and then south into the zoo and back to Charlie where you first started the quest. Speak to him and spacebar through the dialogue before BAM! Quest complete. You'll be awarded access to the Eagle Transport System, the ability to use box traps, 2500 Hunter experience, and 2 quest points. Now for some post quest things that you'll likely want to do. Firstly, if you have 45 strength, then use a necklace of passage to teleport to the eagle's eerie and then enter the cave to your north. Afterwards, push the boulder in front of you and then choose to quick travel on the desert eagle to return to the cave inside Eagle's Peak. Note that if you don't have 45 strength, then you'll want to instead use another teleport to Piscatorus or use the AKQ fairy ring and then make your way 
way all the way back here on foot, which is sadly a bit more effort. After arriving, choose again to quick travel on the Desert Eagle to complete a medium desert task, and then quick travel back to the Eagle's Peak. Next, you'll want to use your rope on the Polar Eagle to complete a medium Fremenic task. And note that the quick travel option for this sadly won't complete the task, so you will have to use your rope on the Eagle. After arriving, then just quick travel back to the Eagle's Peak. Finally, use your rope on the Jungle Eagle to complete a medium Western Provinces task. And again, note that quick traveling will not complete this task. After you arrive at the Jungle Eagle's Cave, you'll then want to exit east out of it, and then use your teasing stick with the young vine, providing it with a means to grow so that you can access this cave in the future. Note though that it takes around 40 minutes to grow, so you won't be able to get back up to the Jungle Eagles right away. And that's all of the post-quest things completed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the the next quest.